All right, all right. Guess what? I'm back with another one. I want to talk to you really quick. Another vlog for me today. And I want to talk about the six most important steps. It's more than six, but I'm just going to talk about six of them. And six most important steps when you're starting a business or even if you have a business, I think these six steps still apply. You're watching Simon TV, business of Simon Marketing Agency, videographer, marketer, entrepreneur, and content creator. Let this show begin. Hey, what's going on? I'm gonna need you guys to support the channel. I need you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification button so you can stay up to date on the new videos that I'm gonna be putting out. So go ahead and support me, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that um, notification bell so you can be updated on all the new videos that's coming out. And I, I appreciate, I honestly, I appreciate your support. Peace. Now, let's get into the video. And um, the first one is you want to learn about what you're doing. You definitely want to learn about what you're doing. It's very important that you know the industry that you're going to step into. You want to learn about it. You want to love it. You've got to have a passion for it. And most importantly, you've got to be obsessed with it. I mean, to the point that you're going to lose sleep over it sometimes. You're going to, you're going to even lose friends. You're going to lose money. And you're definitely going to lose time because when you're so obsessed, you don't worry about the things that's going to stop you from getting to your goal. You're going to be so focused that a lot of things won't be of interest to you anymore. Like going out at night, going clubbing or sitting up drinking all weekend and just watching, binge watching TV shows all week or whatever the case is that you do that wastes your time because you got to have a passion for it. You got to learn, love what you're doing. And when you start loving, learning, having a passion and being obsessed with it, you're definitely um, going to start getting to the industry where you're going to love what you're doing. The second thing is um, find people who are great at what they're doing in your industry and kind of mimic them a little bit. I mean, the people that are great, they're great for a reason. They're not just great because they're good at what they're doing. They're great because they put in, they understand the work habits that make them great. And you got to be the same way. Find those people, figure out what it is that they're doing, what got them to the top, what was bringing them the income that you're seeking to get and the goals that you're seeking that they obtained already. So you got to find people in your industry who are great and start getting into that. And um, third, you definitely got to invest in your knowledge. You got to invest in your knowledge and your education and the information. Um, because without that, what are you really doing? You know, um, I, I heard one place somebody had said, information without understanding is nothing. And that's your knowledge. You got the knowledge, but you don't understand it. Well, you got to get into that and start applying it. Get the knowledge, get the information, and be great at what you do. Next, I would say um, identify, identify who needs what and why they need it and then fill that need. The biggest part of being an entrepreneur and starting a business because you understand there's a need for something and, you need, and when you fill it, that brings you income. So identify who needs what to fill that need. Um, fifth thing I would say really quickly is go to the prospects that you identify, offer them a service or a product either for free or at a discounted price. And the only good thing about it, it gets the buzz out about you, what you offer and what you provide. Sometimes a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to give my services out for free. Yeah, and I get it, offer it at a discount price. But you got to look at the long picture of this here. And the long picture is just getting the buzz out about who you are and what you do. And then the last thing I would tell you is, uh, create a website and cater to those needs. So once you identify who needs what, how you can fulfill that need, then you want to create a, um, a social media site or a website or something around that so people can find you. Um, a website, you may create a Facebook page for it, an IG page, and most importantly, get your YouTube page. In between these three, you can, if you're good at what you're doing and you're still creating content, which is another one. I said six, but number seven is create the content around that to help you get the buzz out about what you're doing. And if you're creating that content, you're putting it on Facebook or IG 
or YouTube, and then you can start working on your monetization by you just talking about what you do, how you do it, and how you can help others. That can even get you monetized to you can receive income based off what you're just talking about. Sometimes you don't even have to sell. Working on monetization, you start getting paid from the social media sites, and you're still delivering in the services. That's double pay for one time of work. So real quick, like I said, I just want to give you six of my most important steps when starting a business. And um, again, it's, it's like my shirt say, it's the solutions, not excuses. So really, there is no excuse. You just got to come up with the solutions before the excuses. Peace. Did you guys go ahead and do what I asked you to do in the other video in, uh, right at the beginning? Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button so I can get supported in this here so we can get some good content going. I appreciate you and um, stay tuned for the next video. I got something special for you. Peace.